here with Steve Case, the former CEO of AOL and the author of The Third Wave. Steve, can you tell us what The Third Wave is? Well, The Third Wave really is the next wave of innovation around the internet and around technology and how it will impact uh, our lives. And, and there's opportunities to really kind of disrupt in some big industries of, of, uh, of, of the economy. But just to set it up, just as, as a backdrop, the first wave of the internet was really building it and getting everybody connected to it, kind of building the on-ramps. Uh, when we started AOL, for example, in 1985, so 31 years ago, only 3% of people were connected, and they're only connected one hour a week. So you know, getting America online, getting the world online was really the work of AOL and many other companies in that, in that first wave. And it went from kind of 1985, nobody was connected, to 2000, everybody was connected, which then kind of set the path for the second way, which is the last 15 years or so, which has really been building apps and services on top of the internet. So it's services like Google and apps like you know Twitter and Facebook and Waze and Snapchat and so forth. Those have really been the kind of the, the where the epicenter of innovation has been in the in the second wave. And that those kind of opportunities will continue. Uh, but the you know, third wave really will start integrating the internet and things like healthcare and education and transportation and energy and even even food and, and in a way that will really you know create big opportunities for the innovators and, and challenge some of the the incumbents but the reason i wrote a book is i think this third wave will require a different mindset and require a different playbook than the than the second wave did mm -hmm. so back in 1996 when i was a high school kid in nebraska tying up the phone line using dial-up getting on aol getting uh, emails from the mayor of AOL, Steve Case. Um, that was the first wave. Correct. Correct. We were we were just trying to, you know, kind of. And again, I know it sounds a little crazy now. Even people kind of listening to this because the internet's now kind of part of everyday life. But when, you know, in those early days, there's just a lot of work to kind of stand up the internet. A lot of you know, how do you build the, the networks and the software and the servers and and create the content and 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 drive the the adoption of it and as that first wave was mostly about pcs mostly about pe people connecting through phone lines uh, as you mentioned uh and you know it, it, there was a lot of work to really make that happen i used to joke that aol was sort of a 10 year in the making overnight success by the time we really you know kind of were visible in the mid 90s people thought we came out of nowhere but in the reality we've been working at it for a decade to kind of build the you know build the the company and and build the the, the internet as really a, a platform 